Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is a subject that you're interested in learning about, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over how you can create this design right here. It says retired 2024, not my problem anymore. As we are fast approaching the end of the fourth quarter and the beginning of the first quarter of 2024, we wanna start thinking about our 2024 designs, which will include things like New Year's, um, anybody who's gonna be retiring in 2024, anybody who's having a kid in 2024, anything else that you can think of that might happen in 2024, get those designs up right at the beginning of the year. So I'm gonna show you how you can create this one. This is sort of that sunset style, pretty quick and easy to make. So if you would like to learn how to do this, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so here we are on Canvas homepage. I am going to be designing for a t-shirt today. So we will go ahead and select custom size and I will be picking 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. I am also gonna be optimizing my design for black. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select my blank canvas, go to the left-hand corner where it says background color, and I will be selecting black. Now this design is a pretty um, kind of common or popular style that's actually relatively easy to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in a word. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard and I'm gonna be typing in retired and I'm gonna make that nice and big across the top of the page. Now for this one, it's important that we select a font that is really squared off at the bottom. And usually you want it to be kind of bold. You want it to um, sometimes be a little bit more narrow depending on how you want it to fit in the page. So I spent a while looking at fonts and the font that I came up with that I liked for this was going to be one called Norwester and it was right here. And so this was nice and bold, narrow, and it gave nice squared bottoms for all of the letters here. So that was gonna be easy to work with for this design style. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it right up at the top for retired. Um, now you can do colors first, you can do the lines first. I'm gonna go ahead and do the colors just so I can get that out of the way. So I'm gonna have a different color for each one of these lines and I'm looking for more of a sort of vintage style. So I'm starting with my red tones here and I'm gonna go ahead and pick a sort of lighter shade of red, something, eh, want it to show up. Maybe something there might look good. So let's say that that's the red that I'm gonna go with. I'm just gonna keep going down and I'm gonna make more of an orangey shade. All right, so something maybe a little bit more there. And then we're gonna go ahead and make more of a yellowy shade. So I can just sort of keep coming down. And you can see how we're gonna keep doing this. That is going to go a little bit more into your sort of greener shade, so depending on how greenish I want it to be, might make that a little grayer there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move into my bluer shades. So let's go ahead and move a little bit more into my teal, and maybe even a little bit more into teal. And so you can see how I'm really easy changing these colors just by dragging it along the bottom here. And I can play with it little bits here and there too if I need it to be a little bit lighter or whatnot, but pretty easy to do. And then my last one is going to be a nice purple color. And so something like that. So I've got my color. And what we're gonna be doing is sort of creating our own sunset based off of these letters. So real easy to do, just a little time consuming. I'm gonna start by creating a rectangle. So if you just hit R on your keyboard, that will pull up a rectangle. And then from here, what we're gonna be doing is making them long skinny lines. We don't want it to go quite all the way down the page but pretty far. So let's say I was gonna bring this right up to the R. I'm just gonna make this sort of rough for now so that you guys can see. Maybe I'm gonna bring it 
that far down because I'm going to put a little bit of text down here too. So I don't want it to go the entire length. And one way to make sure that you get everything where you want it would be to go ahead and just use your rulers and guides to pull down a line, like a stop line there. Um, if you don't have your rulers and guides up, no problem. If you uh, come to the top where you see um, file and you were to go down to view settings, rulers and guides is the first one. You can just also hit shift R on your uh, keyboard and that will pull up your rulers and guides. So that makes it easy to work with. And then all we're gonna do is line up our rectangles. And so in order to do this, whoop, you're gonna use the arrow keys on your keyboard. So the arrow keys on your keyboard are convenient because they allow you to move it one pixel at a time so we can get really precise measurements. And so it's gonna line up just like that. And of course I can change the color to match my R and you can already see the way that this is gonna look. And so from here, I can just duplicate this by hitting my rectangle, hitting Control D, that will duplicate it. And now I have another line I can bring over here. And again, I will use my arrows on my keyboard to line it all up as best I can. And we'll do a little bit of fine tuning when we're done, but let's just start there. So now let's go ahead and do it again. Hit Control D, so I've got another rectangle. And with my next rectangle, I'm gonna go ahead and try to line it up with the E. And this time we're just gonna make it a little wider so I can just pull it out just like that and pull it out that way. And again, we can try to line it up a little bit better, but we're just gonna get the basic ones in and I can pick the color of the E there too. So you can see this is nice and easy. I'm gonna hit Control D. I'm gonna do the skinny one because it's already skinny and see if I can line that right up with the T and that looks pretty good. I'm gonna Control D again. Every time I hit Control D, I'm just coming up with a nice new line. Oops. And so it's a tiny bit time consuming, but it gets faster you know, once you've done it a few times, it's really the lining it up at the top that's gonna take a while. And again, the keys on the keyboard are gonna really help out with that a lot. And Control D. So we're gonna have something like that. Let me go ahead and make sure I get all of my colors matching really quickly here. Make it easy for me. There we go. And so now I can go ahead and zoom in a little bit on the top. And when I'm zoomed in on the top, it's gonna let me see this and line everything up a lot better. So again, using the arrows on your keyboard, every time you push the arrow, it's gonna move it one pixel at a time. And so you can line it up pretty good by doing that. Now, sometimes it won't be exact because maybe you have trouble getting the exact width of a letter but we can get pretty darn close just by doing this with the arrows. And so you can see how this is all lining up really nicely. Now the D is a little tricky because if you can see here with the D, because it's got that curve, you're getting that gap. The way I usually handle that would be to go ahead and just make this longer and get rid of the gap entirely by bringing it up into the body of the D. So now I've got it looking something like that. And so that looks pretty cool. That's pretty much how I would do it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back out so that I can see my whole page. So there it is and that's pretty cool. Now I can group all of these together too so that I don't move them. So maybe I go ahead, click outside of it drag over everything and hit group. That way I don't accidentally mess anything up while I'm doing some more designing. So I've got my basic, so there is my retired. And for the text that I'm putting at the bottom, it's going to say, not my problem anymore. And this is not a new design. This style and this niche has been around for a long time, but the cool thing about retirement designs is it happens every year. So every year you can create a new one with that year on it. Um, so we're looking at stuff for 2024. 
you know, the following year, we'd have to recreate it for 2025, et cetera, et cetera. But if you've got a lot of templates, then it's also really easy to create every year as well. Um, so not my problem anymore. I was going to do this in a nice light tan color, but I'm thinking lighter than that. Maybe somewhere in there, this was going to be its own color. So I'll worry about that later. I was also going to make that Norwester because again, it was just a nice bold font, bold narrow font that I could go ahead and drag out. So something there looks pretty good and I can play with the placement of that in a little bit. And so now I also wanna pull up another text box by hitting T on my keyboard. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go with 2024. And let's go ahead. I'm gonna make this the same tan color as the font down here. Oops, not working which I may still change, but let's go ahead and just go with 2024 here. The font I was gonna go with this was gonna be something a little bit more retro groovy style. So I think I was gonna go with one called just groovy script. There it is, groovy script regular. This may be one that I've downloaded from Creative Fabrica. Um, so there are lots of fonts that I've gotten from Creative Fabrica, which are nice to use. So, Something like that is gonna be my 2024. And then I'm also gonna go ahead, put like a little sunset. This is easy, I'm just gonna hit C, which is a circle. <laughs> and I'm gonna bring my circle over here for my sunset. And I'm gonna go ahead and make that more of a darker orangey red kind of color or something. Maybe something along those lines, hard to say. I can play with this a little bit more once I get my design the way I want it. And then I was gonna get some palm trees. And I'm gonna be going with graphics. And I'm looking for some cool palm tree graphics that I think would look good. I'm going with silhouette style again, so something like that might look cool. Ideally, more than one. I think this one I really liked here because it had a bunch and yeah let's go with that one and then let's go ahead i'm going to make this a nice dark green color something there and once i get everything on here the way i want it then i can go ahead play with the color and the placement a little bit bit more and so we can already see the way that that looks i can also take this and crop that bottom up so that it's actually flat on the bottom so before it was curved, now I can make it flat so that it lines up perfectly with the bottom there. And I can move it over depending on where I want it, resize it, yada, yada, yada. And so something like that looks pretty cool. This is going to have a nice outline around it. So the 2024, I'm gonna go up to effects. I'm gonna do an outline. I'm gonna be doing a nice black outline because I want it to pop. And then of course you can play with the thickness here depending on how much you want it to pop. So something like that looks pretty good. And I can make this 2024 nice and big. I can even have it kind of come up to the top of the D there. So that looks kind of cool. I do want this, I'm thinking a little bit lighter. So as I'm going, playing with my colors a little bit more, I'm thinking somewhere more along the lines of a lighter tan, something like that. And I can do this in a nice lighter tan too, something like that. Now, one thing I could do if I wanted to be able to put this on a light color shirt would be just go ahead and put an outline around this too. So if I outlined this text and I could still outline it with a nice black, you wouldn't be able to really see it on a black shirt. But if I was to then go ahead and set the same design on, let's say a white shirt, for example, now I've got my little outline there. And so now I can go ahead and I think make this outline a little bit thicker now that I can see it. So something like that might look okay. So if I was gonna go ahead and put it on a light color shirt, let me lose this line, it would look something like that. Now again, I'm optimizing this for dark and I anticipate that it would sell more dark than light, but you can always broaden your options by doing something like that. So let's go ahead and change this background color back to black. And so again, from here, if I wanted to play with some of these colors, I could. 
um, if I wanted to make it a little bit brighter or whatnot. I can do that too, or darker, or whatever I want. Here's where I can just start playing with this. Um, and so that looks kind of cool there. So I might just stick with this. So we made that actually really pretty quickly. And so it's actually relatively easy to make this style of design. It's ready to go, retired 2024. And you can make a lot of retired 2024 designs. There's all sorts of retirement niches. And as we're starting to hit the new year, now is when you're gonna wanna put up all of those designs for 2024 that can sell all year round. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download this. I can hit share, download, transparent backgrounds, download, and now it is ready to go. And it really was that fast and that easy. And then of course, scalable for every year to come. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing good with your fourth quarter sales. And I hope you guys are already starting to design for the first quarter. Um, and I hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.